Welcome to another video on the R-Pod Camper. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2017 and a half R-Pod 179. We'll take a few minutes walk here on the outside and inside. One of the first things you'll notice on the new 17 and a half models, they have the blue graphic outside instead of the teal green color. So it is a little bit different color on the outside. This one has the optional power tongue jack, which is a new option. Single 20 pound gas bottle. There is room up front here to add one or two batteries. It has a new uh, propane hookup down here for like a portable grill. Has four scissor jacks, two on each corner, or one on each corner, I'm sorry. You have the dump hose down here which is longer than the old version so you can fit a larger dump hose in there. Got a nice pass-through storage area here. Has magnetic door catches to hold the doors up. Have the electric outlet down there. Has two outdoor speakers. This one was ordered with the optional awning. You can do a awning or a R dome on the 179 now so you do have to uh, Make a choice if you want one or the other or none when you order the camper. It's got a large folding entry handle, single entry step. It's got a screen door. Down on the lower corner here is the uh, GoPro plug-in for a portable solar panel if you wanted to add a solar panel to it. Spare tire, which is mounted in the back uh, bike rack holder. You can either do the spare back there, or you can put a bike rack in there and throw the spare inside or something. Has a fin on the back top there with uh, some LED lights in it for running lights. Power cord hooks up on the corner here. Your cable and satellite hookups. Outside utility shower. Down below behind the wheel there is some low point water drains and the uh, sink drain as well too. You have refrigerator access panel for maintenance here. You have another dump area down here which is for the toilet area, bathroom area. Gas electric water heater. Uh, city water connection, portable water fill, and the furnace exhaust out right there. There's also a black tank flush for the toilet area, and that is located above the wheel well there. And then another cool little feature, they stuck a uh, marker light on top of the fender well here too, which some of the older models didn't have. You have uh, aluminum wheels, single axle, it's an upgraded torsion flex axle, and also there's no longer an option for a axle riser, which they used to have to have because it had a smaller axle system. Now the new axle doesn't require that. This camper here has a uh, dry weight of 2,983 pounds with all the options that we ordered on it. Has a carrying capacity of 785 according to the weight stickers here. Uh, inside the coach, right here at the entry door, you have your breaker box with your fuses and 12 volt breakers. You have a nice uh, little uh, pantry area here. There is the control for the TV antenna. You have the fire extinguisher here. Electric outlet. Another new feature on the uh, 17 and a half R pod, it has a recessed stove with a glass top. A little bit different shade of countertop as well.
Nice window looking out the back. Has an undermount stainless steel sink with a high rise faucet. Has also a flush mount sink cover as well too. A lot of brands are still using the cheaper plastic toilet, uh, the uh, plastic uh, sink there. You've got full extension ball bearing drawer guides. Has the nice little catches there to hold them as well too. Larger handle so your hand fits in it a little easier when opening it. Down below here, got some more storage. Another electric outlet, which is the ground fault breaker. And then you have two USB ports as well, too, for plugging the USB items in there, like your cell phone. On the other side over here, some more storage. Another nice feature too, you have the recessed Euro hinges. Just gives the cabinetry a cleaner look. Here on the wall, you have your water pump switch, water heater on gas, the water heater on electric turns on outside at the water heater, uh, monitor panel for your battery, black and gray tank, the furnace and air conditioning controls here, slide out controls, and light switch for the bathroom, uh, porch light switch also. Got a nice U-shaped dinette. There's storage underneath of the two parts that stick out there. Uh, collapsible table. This is the sea glass decor color. They have a nightshade on the window. Storage up above has the little uh, holders on the door too so they don't fall down while you're trying to put things in there. Have the propane leak detector here, three more drawers, and a nice hanging closet area here. Up above is the Jensen AM FM CD DVD stereo system and also has a USB as well too. The optional 24 inch Jensen TV. Last year's version had basically an optional 19. Now you've got a 24, so a little bit bigger TV. And this is the handle to crank the awning in and out if you do the awning option. There's an electric outlet down here by the bed also and in the furnace located underneath. Some more storage underneath this area also. LED lights in here as well. Uh, two indoor speakers along with the two outdoor speakers. Got little uh, hook hangers here on the door. There you can see the air conditioning system which is an option. We've got a wet bath with this model. The new version also has the plastic uh, tub surround that the old version did not so that's a little bit different. Hot and cold sink and shower area. Another exhaust fan up here which is the bigger exhaust fan. And then there's a little uh, area here, a little pouch area for like your shampoos and stuff like that to go as well. This unit was also ordered with the optional convection microwave, so you can cook or microwave with it, either one.
This unit comes standard with the Dometic three-way refrigerator. So this works on gas, electric, and battery power. There's a couple other brands out there using just the gas electric version. It does not operate off of 12 volt coolant. Uh, basically it's just either propane or electric when you're using it. The freezer is also removable so you can actually take out this area to give yourself more refrigerator space if you don't need to freeze anything. Again, this has been a quick video on the RPOD 179. Thanks for taking the time to check out our video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact uh, Couches RV Nation. I want to thank them for letting me video their camper this evening. 